So now we're going to look at how we can do formatted output. And we're going to use another system out method. Uh, but instead of print line or print, this is going to be print F. This is an older method. It actually comes from the C language and was just implemented in Java because many C programmers already knew it and were comfortable using it. And uh, so you, you'll find this interesting. Uh, I'll come back to this in a minute, but I have this table from our book that shows the parameters and examples for this. Okay, so I've set up a little simple demo program in NetBeans to show you how this works. Uh, and of course, you can get the source code in Blackboard for this. So we've created a variable. It's got a horribly long sequence of digits after the decimal point. And this is kind of typical if you do floating point operations. So for instance, uh, if we do uh, division, often we'll get these long values. And a lot of times we don't want that. We want to go ahead and round it off to a certain level of precision. And that's how we can use the printing format. So before we get into how to do that, let's look at what happens when we do a printout like we know how. So here we're using print line. We're going to print an initial string, value is with a space, and then we're going to just output this value, and it should look exactly like that. So sure enough, value is, then you can see this long string. Okay? All right, uh, so we have the printf method, and it's also a method of system out. And uh, I've already got this ready here, and we'll go through several permutations of it. So uh, basically, the way this works is you have this first operand, which is an argument, pardon me, this first argument, which is a string. And within that, you have a formatting string. And that's this portion right here. That's the formatting string. And then the second op uh, argument is the value, ver value that you want to output, which is going to be output using the formatting string. So this percentage is a placeholder. That means I've got a variable there. You can actually have a string with multiple variables, and you'd have a percentage for each one then. So the percent just marks the first variable. Here I only have one. The point two specifies that I want uh, two uh, positions of precision. So this is going to round this down to two decimal places. And then the final part of this, the F, which is a little confusing. Again, this came from C. That actually means a floating point number. So I can use that F with either Java float or double. Okay. And uh, if I'm trying to format an integer, I use D. Okay. So let's look how this works. And what we should expect is it'll say the value is. And then this percent sign will be replaced with outval, but it'll be truncated to two places. So it should just be like that. All right, let's go ahead and try this. And there we see it is. So that's kind of nicely lined up, and the second one is truncated. All right, you can do a lot more with this. Well, a lot of times when we uh, have programs that do statistical processing, we have to output a lot of numbers. And those are usually going to be in the form of a table that has columns and rows. And one thing we want to do is we want to align all the numbers that are in the same column. And so we can do that with printf as well. So let me go ahead and copy this and uh, paste it back in. And uh, I'm going to leave the point two there, which says use two places of precision. But I'm going to also now add the width of the field. And so this will be uh, a total of 10 characters. And uh, the last three are used for the decimal point and uh, the two digits of precision. So again, we'll run this and we'll be able to see all three examples right next to each other. And so now if you look down here in the output, Notice how this is set off because this 10 character feed is, field is right aligned by default. Uh, if you don't want it to be right aligned, you put a negative sign in there. Okay. So if I was going to print a uh, sequence of these, 
they'd all be lined up correctly as numbers and then in a column. And um, I might go ahead and show you that, except that we need to use a for loop for that. We haven't learned that yet in Java. I don't want to distract you from what this does. Okay. Uh, what I can do real quickly is let's go ahead and copy this a bunch of times and just kind of simulate how we could have this column here. Okay. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Oh, I'm using Control V uh, to paste. Okay. Now I am going to change the precision. Oops, I copied the wrong one, didn't I? So I wanted them all to have that 10 character field. And then just to show you how this works, let's go ahead and increase the number of uh, decimals in each one to see how that looks. Okay. All right. I'll save this. Control S. Go ahead and run it. And so again, notice how the column is all aligned correctly there. Okay, so that'll give us a really neat, nice column in our report. It makes it easier for humans to read it. And um, now let's go on back to the PowerPoint, and I'll talk about some of the other values, and then maybe we can play a bit more with this. So this is right from our Big Java Fifth Edition book. It's from section chapter two, section three, part two on formatted output. And so this table uh, describes the format string for uh, the printf. So here you can see that uh, the D stands for digit, I believe, um, is, and is a regular integer. So when we have an integer, we use that. Uh, if we use this, percent %5D, that means go ahead and print the integer out, but then print it in a five character space and right align it. And then uh, if we come on down here, we're using a floating point number. We're not uh, specifying the precision. Here we're using a floating point number. We're specifying the precision of two, but not the field width. Here we're specifying a precision of two and a total field width of seven and again, it's uh, right aligned. You can also uh, put a, a regular word in here. We use the S to indicate it's a string. And again, in a table, you would want that formatted correctly. Okay, so it is really common to use these in this fashion. And then, as I mentioned, you can have multiple values. So here, I'm going to have an integer value, a space, and then the next value, which is either a double or a float, and has two um, digits of precision. Okay, so here you can see the space. Also, notice that we go back up to this one. Uh, any string that you have before the percent sign uh, comes before it prints out the formatted output. So this says print out the word quantity with a colon. And then in a five character display field, print out our number, which is 24. So again, the five characters go, whoops, sorry about that. Ah, shit. Uh, so again, our five character field ends with the four and proceeds over here, three characters. So again, it's really nice for doing tables and uh, if we go back to NetBeans one more time, we'll look at our output here. Whoops. Come on, NetBeans. There it is. You can see how it creates the table there. So uh, we really won't do a lot with this right now. Uh, pretty much now what you can do is you can use it to just display the number of places when you output uh, a calculated double or float. Uh, but what will happen later on is we'll do some more, uh, uh, more advanced programming where we actually have tabular output. And then you can use printf to arrange the lines of the table so you get nice, neat columns. If you think about how you would have to do this, if you had to do it by hand, it's a real pain in the ass. Because what you have to do is you have to uh, calculate the length of the field and subtract the total spaces and then print the spaces to align everything correctly. 
And in the old days of programming, we'd do that or we'd write methods that would do that for us. So um, that's kind of cool that they added this method to C, and that's why it got carried over into Java. Okay, I hope you find this helpful.